Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 8th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler and Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, let's start with you. You've been busy this week. Uh, what uh, kind of transactions did you see in the primary market? Yeah, we had another great week on the primary side. New issues continue to uh, to be pretty well received. So in total, the market priced another, call it $7.2 billion or so. Again, uh, it's about the third week in a row of $7 plus billion. Um, market saw some larger deals uh, that have, like New York MTA, uh, that got postponed last week. That came to market, was well received and upsized. Um, another large deal was uh, Penn State University priced a billion taxable bonds. So uh, the market was definitely uh, definitely pretty constructive. MMD had uh, come lower in yield by about almost 20 basis points week over week. So a pretty firm tone uh, all week long, um, top to bottom, you know, it kind of felt like there's still a little bit of bias towards higher quality. Uh, and there's still uh, a little bit um, of a wider body bid side, uh, bid ass market on, on some of the lower rated stuff. Uh, but overall, the market definitely seemed, uh, definitely seemed constructive again. For BAM, uh, we had a very active week. We priced 22 series on the new issue side for uh, over 200 million in par. Uh, that was about 93 million on the competitive side, 118 million negotiated. Um, some of the highlights uh, on the competitive side, Fort Wayne, Indiana, water and sewer deal was about 34 million. Uh, Huntington County, Indiana was another 20 million or so. Uh, and then uh, Fruitvale, California school district uh, was about 14 million. And that's another one that was rated double A minus underlying uh, where insurance made sense. On the negotiated side, uh, we saw a nice return uh, on the taxable market. Um, you know, high level, uh, we, we saw about 2.4 billion taxable bonds price this week. That was, uh, again, anchored by Penn State University and MTA. But <clears throat> across the board, we're starting to see spreads on taxable deals come in a little bit where some of the deals that have been postponed for a little while are starting to come back. So. BAM insured um, uh, 31 million taxable bonds for Compton Community College District, uh, RBC priced that one, uh, and it was well received. And so are we seeing, uh, Grant, let's uh, switch over to you, uh, the, the demand side, are we seeing, is, is the demand coming from crossover buyers, both on taxable and tax exempt bonds, or where are these investors uh, coming from? I think the, um, on the taxable side, yes, there's just more money flowing into that. I mean, you, you see, just the Muni corporate relationship. There uh, has been talk, um, there was a piece out today saying that uh, Muni's are as cheap as they've been to corporates uh, since 2014, or the cheapest since 2014. So uh, there's a lot more demand on the taxable side. We've got, uh, that is both uh, international investors, but there's also, um, you know, a, a huge amount of domestic interest. Lipper reported outflows again this week, so we're still seeing some of the traditional muni buyers in the mutual fund world uh, constrained. Is it? Yeah, I mean, I think the theme is the same there, which is you know, you've seen a lot more uh, stability in the market. Uh, on the outside, I think uh, underlying that is is a real uh, fragile market, and so um, you know this week was was definitely a good week. We outperformed uh, treasuries, but uh, but overall still pretty jittery. Obviously, there's a lot of headline risk out there. I mean, you saw the state of California today talking, you know, headline numbers of 54 billion, and that's over a few years. I think if you read a little bit deeper, uh, it's not quite as uh, as dire as $9 billion current year uh, deficit. But, you know, as a result, we're seeing a lot more uh, high-grade interest. We we wrapped some Calgios um, this week, fifth largest uh, to our sovereign, uh, be the fifth largest economy in the world. So, um, there is, you know, across the board, retail and even large institutions uh, are looking um, to insurance. And so in the secondary, we had uh, another another big week, um, a, uh, a lot of different names, but uh, just under 100 million uh, in total volume. And, and uh, so for uh, insurers, we've got a pretty broad uh, audience right now and a lot of demand. And so, Brian, I mean, as, as uh, Grant said, the market is a little bit fragile, but issuers certainly, we, we've talked about the backlog of issuers trying to come to market. Next week's calendar looks like it's no exception. What kind of transactions are you watching to see if they can uh, find demand? 
Yeah, it feels like uh, you know we should have another you know another week similar to uh, to this week. Uh, what's scheduled to come is probably again in the neighborhood of seven to eight billion or so, maybe uh, a little bit on the higher end of that. So we'll make a little more progress. Uh, again, if we see if we continue to see this um, you know this story play out, maybe a few more of the day to day deals come off and and we we get a little bit in excess of eight billion or so. Um, but BAM, you know, BAM's forward calendar uh, looks exceptionally busy. Uh, we've got some, you know, probably two to 250 million that are scheduled to price. Uh, those will be highlighted by uh, 75 million San Leandro USDs uh, that Piper Sandler is going to price for California. Uh, 40 million Riva School District in Illinois that R.W. Baird is pricing. And 40 million Chicago Heights, uh, Illinois that Steve Hull has scheduled to price. Uh, away from that, we're also approved on and providing capacity for a large $340 million Terrio okay. POB um, that Hilltop is scheduled to price. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll bid on uh, probably another 25 to 30 competitive deals north of $350 million in total par. So uh, we're scheduled to be very active next week, um, and, and we'll see how things play out, um, particularly watching the Ontario POB. Uh, working closely with Hilltop to see where insurance makes sense on that transaction. And that'll be a taxable market deal as well, right? Correct. Very good. Anything to add, Grant? Not really. I never thought I would uh, <clears throat> never thought I would see non-farm payrolls at uh, down uh, 20 and a half million uh, jobs. And I definitely thought I would never see that beat expectations, but, uh, but that's what we saw today. And as staggering as those numbers are, I think the market is still forward-looking. I think the expectation is a large percentage of those workers uh, will return to work. And so, uh, you know, so the equity markets and, and bond markets are hanging in there. And it's important to remember the, the, the work that's going on with so many of BAM's members and the issuers in this marketplace are funding essential services. Um, and uh, it's good to, to play a role in keeping those lights on. Um, so uh, we, we uh, give all the respect to the, the people doing the jobs on the front lines. Uh, thank you, gentlemen, for uh, joining me this week. We'll talk to you again next week. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable AA rating from S&P. BAM's insurance protects against everything that causes a default, including natural disasters, financial fraud, pension issues, and economic disruption, like the one we're experiencing right now. BAM. Build America Mutual. Ask your broker about BAM insured municipal bonds.